In the heart of the educational wilderness, we find ourselves in an extraordinary habitat, the early years classroom. Here, young minds embark on a journey of exploration and play, shaping their understanding of the world around them in the most delightful and inventive ways. Observe this group of curious children as they converge around the communal learning hub. Their tiny hands are a blur of activity as they engage in a captivating game of building blocks. Through this seemingly simple activity, they are honing their motor skills. They're learning about balance and developing their spatial awareness. It's a fascinating display of early cognitive development. And over here, a young explorer has assumed the role of an intrepid astronaut, ready to blast off on a cosmic journey. The cardboard rocket ship is her vessel of choice and the vast expanse of the universe unfolds before her. This imaginative play not only nurtures creativity, but also builds critical problem-solving skills. It's as if they've embarked on an intergalactic mission of self-discovery. And here we have the wise guardian, the teacher, sharing the wonders of literature with these eager young minds. Through storytelling, the children are transported to far-off lands, meeting fascinating characters and learning important life lessons. Through these tales, they are cultivating their language skills, expanding their vocabularies and developing a love for reading that will stay with them throughout their lives. As we continue to observe this remarkable ecosystem of early childhood education, one thing becomes abundantly clear. Every moment, every interaction is a profound opportunity for learning. These young explorers are not merely playing. They are actively shaping their understanding of the world one adventure at a time. But a few years later, things have changed. Observe the students as they attentively follow their teacher's guidance on the intricacies of English grammar. And here, a burst of energy as students eagerly participate in a guessing game. This playful interlude injects a sense of fun and competition into their learning journey, reinforcing vocabulary in a memorable way. But in this English classroom, life is not always harmonious and the fun and engaging learning opportunities are few and far between. When does the connection between the content we teach and the real world get lost? And more importantly, should it? Shouldn't our classrooms be reflections of the real world? one in which our students will participate as global citizens? If you think they should, come along to my session for the British Council World Teachers' Day on Thursday the 5th of October. I'm giving a session called Fostering Real-World Learning Through Inquiry in the Young Learner Classroom. I'll see you at the World Teachers' Day event on the 5th of October.